What's up YouTube? This is Danny and this is Amy from Homestead DNA and uh, we've got a, a fun day today hopefully. It's potato picking day or at least one of the potato picking days. Our earliest variety is supposed to be ready. Actually it was supposed to have already been ready um, but we're gonna go ahead and pick a row of potatoes and see what we get out of it and bring you guys along. Kind of got yelled at last time because we didn't show enough potato picking. So we're gonna make sure we get plenty of potato <laughs> picking in this one. Um, but you look out behind us. You guys have not seen this yet. You may have by the time this video comes out. We we'll probably will have done a garden update. Yeah. However, this one is uh, what, July 3rd now, I think mm -hmm. it is, the third. And this is our watermelon and pumpkin plot. And you can see it's just completely chock full of watermelon mostly. But there's definitely some pumpkins over there and some watermelons in between as well. But um, let's, let's see if we can find a good watermelon here for you. There you go. There's a nice, decent sized one. But there's all kinds of different varieties in here. So we'll see what we get. But it is growing for whatever that's worth. And it, as is the rest of our garden, as is our grass over here. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. We're not going to look at that side. But check this out. This is our potato plot. It's, it's kind of gone to weeds at this point, which is fine. That's what happens. But you can see that the plants have really started to die back. And uh, it's about time to start picking them. So we're going to get in here. It was shady all day long. All day. And now there's still some clouds, but the sun is right there. Hopefully this cloud will come over and give us some protection, but I don't think it's going to be much. But we're going to get over here and pick this stuff if we can stand it. So uh, let's let's get to it, I guess. All right, let's do it. All right, hopefully you guys can see. I take my hat off because of this thing. It's probably going to be a little windy. I'm going to go ahead and put some gloves on. Take me a basket over here. And I'm going to maybe start a little further down, I guess. So, both of these rows are probably done, but this one right here is supposed to have been done a while ago. I can even see some potatoes poking out up there. That's a problem, but let's see what we can get. Put these gloves on here. You got a good rock. Oh, that's a good rock. That's nice. We're also going to take the time to pull as many weeds as we possibly can. There you go. I keep even the little ones, even though they look a little rough. Pop out of the ground here. These look good though. Mm hmm. Generally. That one looks. Yeah, here we go. There you go. Pretty quick on this. Yeah, well, I mean, this is clay dirt. This is not good soil. This is just dirt for us. But, I mean, that's a good looking potato.
getting in there. We'll sort out the green ones later. digging a hole right there. So much grass. There's much here. Yeah, a bunch of little guys. We'll take them. A potato is a potato. Probably missing so many too just because you can get down in there they'll grow these vines out and put a potato anywhere you won't see it that's a good one attached Here, I'll show you this. So here's the potato plant, all died off. That is the potato that oh, we yeah, planted. This, the seed potato there. So yeah. your seed potato. Oh, we cut it. No, it's just attached till just now. So obviously you can't do anything with that. But yep. Cool to see how it started. Yeah, once you start digging around in here, they just start popping out of nowhere. Yeah. Hope I'm actually recording this. Yeah. Definitely some good sized ones in here. We had a lot of tiny ones, and I really haven't gotten tiny ones yet. Yeah, not, not the, I mean, there's a couple little ones like that in there, but there's at least big enough ones yeah. that... But the majority were smaller. Majority, yeah. These are decent. Another seed potato. Yep, another seed. Did that one actually grow in anything? It Maybe. was, it was connected. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, there's some, <laughs> some taters in there. The fun game we played last year, potato or rock. Yep, you already went through all this. Huh? Yeah, doesn't hurt to double check. I don't know if it's potatoes or if it's, uh, you know, those voles or whatever, but uh, shrews. But there's definitely some, something's been digging around in here or growth. One has yeah. gotten yeah. into the clay a little bit. Yeah, and this is what makes it all kind of worth it. Sorry, good call.
might be a little rotten. We'll let that one go. Food out of the ground. I was reading something yesterday. I thought it was funny. It said there's there's no plant that a gardener is more excited for dying than a potato plant. Yeah. The spiders in here. Spiders yeah, check that hole out. Yeah, they have tunneled all the way down here. That's actually pretty crazy. They just tunneled right down the line. All right. Okay. More I know I'm moving. <laughs> He's <so weird. laughs> Kick over that spiny amaranth. Horrible plant. There's a lot of a lot of prickly plants right here. So this is spiny amaranth, and it's got these needles right there, which you may not be able to see, and those are super razor sharp. Very careful, gently, gently grab it. Luckily, it doesn't have insane roots. I say that as that root is crazy. Uh, yeah. Dirt in my face. All right, how far down do these go? Jeez, look at these. Look at that one. Nice. Definitely some good baked taters in here. This one, this one plant, this one plant. <laughs> here, got some. What happened down there? Got some monsters. 
It's got some green ones too though. Stupid dog. Got a little green on it. Started a seed potato. Make some of these into seed potatoes. Just replant them. Yeah. It's so weird that that whatever that bowl is just did a straight line. plant at the end. Stone. These potatoes are in much better condition than last year's potatoes. Yeah. Looks so good. Yep. Piece of conduit or something. <laughs> cool. That helps potatoes blow, grow. Yeah. Iron, right? yeah, a little extra. Minerals. All right, well, that's more than a bushel. Yep, and I think that's, I think we got that whole row. Yeah. That's not bad for a row. Yeah. We've got six rows of those. We'll have to go back and look and see what we got in weight last year. I don't think it was last year. I think it was 50, 50 pounds. Yeah, 50 pounds. 50 pounds. Um, this, this one row could, I think, beat that. Oh, I think so too. Because this looks really good. Yep. And now we gotta attack other rows. Yep. I mean, honestly, we could pro we could probably pick this row. This one I think is the second yeah. earliest one. Those theoretically aren't supposed to be ready till about the fifteenth or something like that. But uh, these spiny amaranth have gone to seed, so we'll have this next year too. It's fine. We'll tarp more. This row looks pretty good too. Yeah, that row probably could be picked if we want to, but we gotta I gotta get more baskets. <laughs> and uh but I think that's a pretty good haul. Yeah, that's nice. For one row of potatoes mm -hmm. this year. We'll do that five more times. Yeah. And hopefully we'll have similar results. Oh, that breeze feels so good. <laughs> so All right, we're back inside with our potato haul for one row. Here we go. First ba basket. Let's see what we got here. 
36.8 pounds. Woo-wee! In that basket there. And then also... Two? What? Okay. Oh! <laughs> 36.8 pounds. We picked the exact same amount of potatoes as each other, and you told me yours was heavier. It's heavier than me. That's, <laughs> that was a lie. They're the exact same weight. But what are the odds of that? I don't know. It seems weird. Well, Ooh. we're going to trust it because I think it's right. I mean, it feels like 36 pounds. Ooh. Maybe two of everything says. Thirty-eight point two pounds. Those were big, yeah. big taters you put up here. Okay, so thirty-six point eight, both of us. Oh. All right. So seventy-three point six pounds. Is that right? Is it my math right on that? Seventy-three point six. Sounds right. Did I carry all my ones? Yep. I think I carried my ones. Look at these taters, though. Yeah, this one's a pretty monster one for us. I mean, I have, I have super massive hands, so it's even bigger, right? <laughs> That's what we tell people. Yeah, I like it. You go over here. We sit up here, and we're going to make sure we turn these lights off, or else they will just sprout, although that one already is. So we're going to have to pick the ones out that we can use as just seed potatoes, maybe replant them, maybe put them in pots. Yeah. So the reason why we're doing this is the skin... It is actually pretty soft right now, so if I go and like really rub at it, do it, it'll start to come off. So we want it to sit for a couple weeks. We're not washing the dirt off of them or anything. Just let them sit in a cool, dark place for like two weeks, and then we can store them up. And we've got some like potato sacks that we're gonna put them in, like burlap sacks. And I'm and sure we got four of those yesterday. I think we're gonna need more. Yeah, I think we're gonna need a lot more. <laughs> We'll eat a few of these yeah. too. So I'm gonna freeze them and can them and we're gonna start working on eating them too. You can see some of the canning Amy's already been doing this year with some pickles and relish over there with our cucumbers. And I've already put up all the green beans I did. Yep, we did a bunch more green beans. Some of these are from last year, but we've we've still got more. And then these are all the empty jars we have to fill up this year. Because my little sister keeps sending these to us like a crackhead. And uh, so we have jars. <laughs> that's for sure. So, well, well, we'll probably fill a bunch of them up. Yeah. Especially if we can any potatoes. But we got freezer space, shelving space down here in the cellar. So I think we're going to be good. And I think I'm going to make that at the end of this potato video. Potato number one. One of five. Yeah, <laughs> stay, five <laughs> stay tuned if you like potato picking and enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Um, like it. Share it if you have potato picking friends that you really, they really like watching people pick potatoes so you don't have to. Um, here you are. Here's some potatoes grown right here. All right, guys. Y'all take it easy. See you later. Bye.